Right, here's The Scientist by Coldplay. It's an amazing band uh, and <clears throat> the piano parts are very, very unique and uh, most of his parts are chordal. That means it'll be... Uh, it won't be very melodic or very showing off in nature, so to speak. That's because he's also singing and it's a very sort of peaceful, laid-back kind of song, uh, I, I guess. So in the song... Uh, there are two sections, what you would call as the verse and then the chorus, right? So the verse and the chorus are basically on the key of F major scale. So just to go through that, in the F major scale, you have three major chords and three minor chords, right? You'll have F major, which is your major chord, B flat major and C major. And then the minors, G minor. A minor and D minor and lastly the diminished chord which is E diminished now in a pop song I don't think there'll be a lot of um, diminished chords being used well you never know uh, so I would imagine that most pop songs or rock songs will stick around the major and the minor chord variety okay so it's always good to write down the chords all, all the available chords before you start a song or before you start learning a song in this case, since it's pretty much on D minor or F major, we try to just limit to those seven chords, three major and three minor. So what he does in the verse is basically a 6-4-1-5 chord progression. That's the 6 of F major, which is D minor. <coughs> then B flat major, which is the 4. Then the F major, which is the 1. <coughs> And then there's a C major, which is the 5. However, he plays it in a rather interesting manner. The D minor, he also adds a C to the chord. So, now I haven't seen him playing it, but I would imagine he plays the C and the D together with the same thumb. Okay? Well, you just have two thumbs, so I don't think you should do that. Anyway, so this, is, this will work. This is the first chord. Then B flat. So there's also that -na -na, which is just a little melodic phrase B flat to C so let's do that again D minor 2 3 4 B flat 2 3 so that's B flat and C so I've also notated that down in the grid so you have D minor 2 3 4 B flat 2 3 4 and so at the end, you're sort of playing B flat and C as individual notes. Then you come down to F, F, two, three, four, C, C sus. So a C suspended chord is a very interesting chord. It's essentially, you're not playing C major immediately as you would. You're playing the F and then the C. So, so one. He resolves the sus chord to the major at the 4. And that's generally what suspended chords do. They they sort of make the major chord, they make you wait for it. They even make you wait for a minor chord as well. So there are quite a few songs which use it. There's Summer of 69, which you guys should check out. There's also The Show Must Go On by Queen. And I've also done a video on creative usage of the suspended chords we'll put a link in the description just make sure you watch that one okay um, so let me do the entire verse section again and call out the chords as i'm playing and remember d minor is no longer a d minor as such it's played with a c so that makes it a d minor seventh you could say and the style of playing it on the piano is very interesting you do two hits in the left and one hit in the right. So it's like you're playing chords in both hands. B flat. So let me do it from the beginning. D minor. B flat major F major C major 
सी सास थ्री सी मेजर बैक थ्री एंड फोर एंड वन एंड टू एंड थ्री एंड फोर एंड वन एंड टू एंड थ्री एंड फोर एंड वन एंड टू एंड थ्री एंड फोर एंड and then we go to the next part which is the b flat part so i've written down the chords so it's very very unique chord uh, chord progression you have b flat major again keep that going that's a c sus don't forget i taught you that in the verse section right so that's b flat major na 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 f na 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 b flat again no na 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 f again Okay so let me break that whole section for you once more for, uh, from the B flat which is the second part of the song B flat na 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 B flat again na 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 F na 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 C sus 4 na B flat na 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 come back to F So what he does is he does F for four counts. Uh, the last cycle of that part. F two three four. A. This is an A minor seven. So it's an A minor with a G on the top. So that's a four note chord. F two three four. A minor two. D minor four. So what I've marked out there is A minor and D minor are played. I've put this sort of uh, bracket there that indicates that it's played uh, for two beats. So you're going to go F two three four, A minor seventh, D minor, and then C. Pam pam pam. So he also plays a filler at the end. So with the C chord, one, two, three, four, and one, and he stops at the next one of the next bar. One, two, three, four, and one. That's C with E, D with F, E G. Basically, close thirds. Okay. So let me do the second half of the pre-chorus or chorus, uh, if you will. So B flat. No. A minor seven, D minor, C two three filler. I'm going back to the start. B four, B flat two. So once he sings start, you play F B flat F F, which I've written down, and then it goes back to the first part, which is D minor, B flat F and C, right? So um, let me do the entire. Um, <coughs> the entire second part which you could call as a chorus na 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 f na 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 c sus 4 b flat again na 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 f and now a minus 7 filler i'm going back to f major b flat f f and back to yeah and this goes on i 
everything till the end of the song so yeah it's pretty easy a song to play with the chord progression but as you get into it it's quite interesting and it will teach you a lot uh, as you grow as a musician and as a pianist so just remember the time feel is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and i'd like you to count like this throughout the song okay that's the feel and there are some chords which you may not have heard before or learned before one is the suspended chord as i said which is the root the perfect fourth and the perfect fifth example c sus4 which is mentioned and there's also things like the a minor 7th or the d minor 7th chord a minor 7th chord is nothing but a minor chord with a flat 7 on the top or at the bottom wherever you play it okay and um, there was also a cup there were also a couple of other chords which were marked out like a minor 7th over f right so so that was at the chorus f so he plays a minor 7th but what i've written down in the in the chart is it's a minor 7th with an f bass i think i forgot to mention that slightly earlier so when you play a minor 7th in the right hand just make sure you play f in the left hand it makes it sound very very spacey and then he does d minor with an f bass normally you'd be playing a d minor but in this cold play song we have d minus with the f and similarly a minor 7th with the same f so that sort of makes it a major 9th then you'll have a d minor over f and then the pattern just remember is 2 is to 1 right pretty much throughout to go with the feel of the song and the volume of the singer as he or she goes through the track so the singer gets louder you can try and go louder with the singer and that's one of the unique aspects of learning a cold play song there's a lot of dynamics it's pretty much the same chord progression throughout but there are a lot of dynamics which you have to follow right and a lot of that comes from the piano yes it does come from the drums and the other musicians but the way he plays the piano adds a lot to 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 the whole thing right so 2 is to 1 left hand is to right hand eighth note feel f major that's pretty much it so it's time now for you to start playing this song and nail it cheers don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon for notifications leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next and don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends cheers